Well, this has been an ongoing project for a long time, and we're gonna fix it. Look at this jerk sleeping on the job. Supposed to be healthy. Yes, that is 20B, and the wiring is a nightmare. So we're going to fix this wiring. Uh, we're having TPS issue, crank position issue, wiring and, issue. Uh, <laughs> wiring issue. Uh, we're fixing it once and for all here. And uh, yeah, this is kind of out of the blue type deal. It's got a lot of work that needs to be done. Uh, it's a Nick's car. He's uh, got a T56 he put in. But the thing's been running like absolute garbage because the TPS doesn't know what the hell's going on. And then it moves the signal around. Sorry. You set it, and then it warms up, and then the signal moves again. And it doesn't know what to do between idle and fuel map. So, but we're buttoning up some other stuff to clean it up, centralized grounding it, and uh, going from there. So, yeah, then we're probably going to make a header panel for it. And amongst other things. Um... It's uh, been neglected pretty good, like my own personal car. So, it just sat for a year. And uh, we're going to hack this apart and start hacking it back together. We'll be back as soon as we start reassembling. Okay, update one. Non-clusterfuck uh, powering to the injectors. Somehow the powering got ran. Two power wires got ran up. Three power wires got ran up. And uh, the one wasn't hooked up. It was one just... wasn't hooked up to anything. It was just in the harness. But the battery power for the ECU came up to this injector harness. We pulled that out, uh, fixed this cluster. Fuck. Um, excuse my language for YouTube. Um, and then we're gonna fix these injector outputs. Run this all neatly back. And uh, we're getting there slowly. Fix this rat nest. Yeah, we got a rat's nest here, so it probably doesn't help. And then we're gonna get this crank angle sensor wiring out of that coil wiring and uh, work on that and then reground his coils in the chassis grounds. So we'll be right to speak of. Yeah, look at that. That's the that's a tuning laptop. So we finished the wiring. You can't see because blade doesn't move the light. I don't move. It's nice and clean now. <laughs> Deleted the frame frame rail. <laughs> Deleted the frame rail, the fuel rail. He doesn't know if it's going to work right, but it looks clean, so that's. It looks. Point. It looks better. That's, that's all that matters. Point. It that looks good point. sitting here. It may not work. It looks way better than it did. Well, it's all rotary it's sitting here. Core, it's just sitting there. Yeah, rotaries don't run anyways. I don't know why we so worked on it. I'm, I'm going to set the TPS, <laughs> and then we might go over for a spin. Why not? Interesting. Hey, that kid that as soon as we do something with this headline, he keeps yelling. The kid tied up in the back keeps yeah, yelling. Tied up in the shed. Oh, shit. I was gonna ask you if you wanted to be on video. <laughs> no, I don't. He's uh, rates reserved. Too late. Treasures in your door. Yeah. Are you ready to die yet? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking total suicide. Oh yeah. Fifty fucking miles on this transmission. Dude, you guys are safe. Yes, true. Well, if we never fucking drive, then we'll never put any miles on it. Okay, wiring is fixed. TPS is fixed for the first time in 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Literally. Know, it's been being your bad <laughs> and we get we're going to go drive in a minute. I'm going to spectate. And then Blade's going to go for a ride and <laughs> scream like a little girl. Because, you know, this isn't no fucking LS Miata. Yeah, amateur hour's over, Blade. Easy. He's got a turbo. <laughs> I don't got a turbo. <laughs> we need the hood pins. You twist the fucking frame. Well, I want to hear start before we close that hood, make sure there's like nothing flying apart. Cause... Nothing flying apart? Oh, yeah. I guess we'll start it. I'll stand back. Maybe. Oh, fucking tire pressure. Tire pressure? Yeah, this tire's low. What tire's low? This left one. Left one? 
Good well, thing there's an air compressor over there. If this car is reliable enough, it can make it down to the store. I mean, who needs air pressure when you don't have lug nuts? Uh, okay, we're going to put air in the tire and we'll be right back again. Joke. Copyright infringement. Lives. The laptop doesn't. Yeah. Um, get the TPS air fixed. Uh, now we're getting the crank position sensor air uh, anytime we start to get a heavy load on it. Uh, I'm going to reground the coils, uh, move the crank position wiring away and then uh, take it for a ride and see if we fixed it. Uh, yeah, it's being problematic with that. Uh, TPS error being fixed has made it a lot nicer to uh, be able to drive. You can actually cruise with it and the throttle isn't loading up and uh, popping and banging like it wanted to. And uh, yeah, I guess this is a, an issue that the, the old LT16 Microtechs had and uh, the LT tens used to have. I know they fixed that with newer ish, with the newer ones, but uh, I'm gonna try and shield it a little better, get it away from everything. Um, yeah, and then uh, we'll see where we're at in a minute here. Well, we're gonna try this and go out for a ride here. 